Friday night, and you know what that means. It is time for Spaghetti and Friends Toy Show, episode 260. Nine episodes away, Matt, from the sexy episode. We're getting close. Oh, baby, finally. That's right. It's be your boy, Smith, as always, joined by the usual suspects. We're here live. It's Friday night. We're watching a little SmackDown tomorrow night's SummerSlam, so you know what it is. Plus, we got some things to talk about. We got a lot of toys to talk about. We got some trailers and a few other things. So, hope you got those drinks. Hope you got those snacks. Smoke them if you got them. And, uh, hey, make yourself a nice sandwich or a hot heaping bowl of spaghetti and hang out with some friends. Anything uh, new on the horizon, gentlemen, before we get into it? Before we get into the fun stuff? Uh, I'm... I'm I'm excited, man. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a good show. There's a lot of a lot of fun stuff that we're gonna talk about tonight. Well, let's jump right into your number one source for news and information. Friday night, we're talking toys, hanging out, making noise with people in the chat and all the boys. It's fake news. 
And as always, make sure you check your spaghetti policy. Start things off with a sold out banger, depending on who you ask. Banger. <laughs> That's why I said banger. Depending banger. On who you ask. We got from McFarlane Toys, we've got Batman Classic TV Series, DC Retro Batman Action Figure. Now, as you can see, already sold out. Looks like you've got what? About. Probably yeah, like eight like points it, of articulation, maybe? Yeah, around there. Uh, I think this is. This is. Uh... He's already he's already released a uh, Batman in this line. I think this is like his. Uh, so this is like the second time we're getting a Batman in this wave. And uh, just just again, uh, everybody, you know, don't kind of don't kind of kid yourselves on these figures. The, these do not scale with the multiverse line. Like, don't kid yourself. Like these are McFarlane figures. Uh, yeah, these are really tiny, and they have very few. Uh, points of articulation. Well, These aren't the. Don't worry about seven. that. We we're gonna talk about those X the ninety seven X Men. So don't worry about that. Uh, no, they're not seven inches. They're like they're barely six inches. They're maybe closer to like maybe it's, five. It and says a half it, inches. it says six inch scale. So, but yeah. they, they sure shit don't look six inch. So, yeah, they're like, these would these these I think are. I, I could be wrong, but I think these are Mattel. I think these are Mattel body molds. Uh, they they look very similar. Like these would scale perfectly with Mattel, and these look very similar to like Mattel's uh, Batman sixty six figures. I don't know if when he purchased DC collectibles, I don't know if he that was part of it or whatever it is. I don't know, or maybe these are new sculpts totally, but. Yeah, these these would scale better with your uh, DC UCs. I don't think this figure would be that bad if the cape was maybe a little bit better. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, it is what it is. But I'm 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 not buying in on this. So I uh I I did I did I I got the Batman, the Robin, and the Joker, and I'll probably just leave it at that. I'm not trying trying to go crazy on uh. Batman 66, but uh, you know whether I even though I do not like this version of Batman, it's still uh still wanted to have it in my collection, you know. Yeah. Well, 18 bucks is sold out on BBTS, but I'm pretty sure you can find these in a while because they a lot of these, especially these old school Batman, they peg warm a lot on in your local Target. So please believe you'll probably be able to find these dudes once they hit the streets. It'll be uh it'll it'll be plentiful. Uh, with yeah. uh, McFarlane, we got uh, we got Robin now, also sold out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, uh, just take take everything I said previously and and just apply it here. Uh, they're they're smaller and they're less articulated than uh, regular McFarlane figures, but I I feel like I feel like the the audience is for people that really really like that series. Like if you're like a big fan of Batman sixty six, then these will probably uh, these will probably get you six to midnight for sure. But uh, they're not they're they're not cool like action figures. If that makes if that makes any sense. I mean, these are cool if you're just a fan of this like retro Batman and Robin. So you know. Yeah, yeah. Like these 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 are like if you, if you like that show and you just want to put these on your shelf. Like they're they're great, but they're like I said, they're uh, forget doing any kind of crazy dynamic posing with these. Yeah, you're not gonna get that much. Yeah. Again, uh, eighteen bucks. Daniel, what's what's so going much. on? Thanks for joining us. Seven October of 2023 when the when they're expected to drop. So there you go. All right, here we go. Continuing, we've got uh, also Batman 66, DC Retro Lord Death action figure. This one actually is not, not that bad looking. I ain't going to even lie. I'm not familiar with this one. Was he was he a villain in the show? 
Probably was, but again, like that show was even before my time. I don't remember every episode. And that Batman, See, that, the, that ep- those series did make up a lot of characters back in the day. So. See the, see the, the the villains are are where I'm kind of interested because, yeah, like you said, like they made up a lot of character, like a lot of villains from that show, they only exist in the confines of that show, uh, like like King Tut, you know, like he like he's a Batman villain, but he only he doesn't exist in any continuity really outside the 66. So like if, if that's kind of the same deal with this character, then I, I might actually pick this one up. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I like to try to get one of every character. So if, if it's, if it's the, if this is the only version of this character. I might have to, I might have to kind of pull the trigger. I mean, yeah, he looks good. I'd like to see kind of a regular version, like a upscaled McFarlane version of this and see how it looks. But not bad. Yeah, I like this design. 18 bucks. October of 2023. Yeah, this, uh... This, I, I don't believe was in the show, but I could be wrong. Uh, Doesn't look familiar to uh, me. It just looks like someone taking liberties at this point. This is so. I guess this is uh, Joker and very uh, Batman. Wait, wait. I do think he attire. did wear the Batman cowl one time in an episode, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah. This is. Uh, this kind of. This kind of. Not for me. This is. This is not for. Uh, this is not for me. Yeah, Batman, Batman 66. None, none of us were even born yet. Yeah. Uh, again, I I, th- I think the I think this bi- this this figure is going to is going to do best with like like if you're a big fan of this show and if 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 you know Caesar Romero like if he's your Joker and He's your kind of definitive Joker. I can maybe maybe see some people really wanting this, but nah, this is just a just an easy pass for me. Yeah, most definitely. Eighteen. So what is he defending the title against Santos at SummerSlam now? No, next week. Oh, that whack. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. It is whack. October it of twenty twenty three. Very whack. Yeah. This I kind of want. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's just a uh, the robot Batman. It's just a fun kind of like kooky design, and it makes me smile. And I think there's something to be said about uh, what what what. When you when an action figure just kind of puts a smile on your face, you know I don't know. Like I don't care about this show. I don't care about this character at all. I, I don't know. This, this figure just looks funny. You know I'm, I I don't think I would uh, actively go out of my way to get this, but if, if if I if I catch it in the wild, you know I don't know. I just think the design the design makes me smile. Yeah, it's all right. I, I don't hate it. <clears throat> it looks like the style of the 66, so, you know, it works. Yeah. This I don't think was in the show, if I'm... I really doubt this was in the show, I, right? I definitely don't remember that. I think I would remember a bat robot. I think because... I wonder because they're doing, like, comics. Like, they have an ongoing series that takes place in the 66 universe. I wonder if... They're kind of pulling stuff from the comics. Probably. If it's McFarlane, you already know he probably is. Yeah, yeah. So especially, maybe that's especially, what that is. Especially if it's got to do with, Bot- uh, with Batman over here. So. Yeah. It's, it's almost it's almost a no-brainer at that point. I like it.
And last, Batman 66, we got Retro Superman. And this is uh, sad. This is just all sad. Again, just across the board, sad. Especially for Superman. Hey, listen, his boots are painted. So. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, it's, it's times like this when you, you're thankful for the, the, these small miracles right here. But, but no uh, too Yeah. Su- Superman, I, I know for a fact, was not in that show. Uh... So yeah, that maybe maybe uh, brings me back to the point of like I wonder if he's pulling stuff from the comics because I kind of saw this and uh, it's kind of a head scratcher at first. the the like The likeness for the Superman is weird. He looks like uh, what, what's that? What's that dude? Uh, looks like Mister Robot. Oh. Yeah, Rami Malik. Yeah, Rami Malik. Yeah, oh, you're right. He does. He really does. Is it just is it just me or does he look like does no. he look like Mr. Robot? No, you you you're on point. Jawline and everything. Yeah, this this, this is just I don't know. He just he finds new ways to just disrespect Superman. He just does. Uh, just this is uh this is sad Superman. This is a uh, shopping mall Superman from the multiverse. <laughs> shopping mall <laughs> Superman. This is like the Peter B. Parker version of Superman, where he's just like really sad and pathetic. Maybe this is a sculpt of like a young Todd McFarlane. He's like, put me on Superman, guys. <laughs> Come on. Is. Todd, you've had great hair since your 20s. Just dye it black. Ugh. Look, he oh. comes with little green pieces of poo. That's Kryptonite. <laughs> oh, well, the Superman's already sold out as well, so. Wow. Okay, this is, uh... So, we're getting uh, Marvel Legends, X-Men... 97 wave. Uh, Bishop? Out of this whole wave? I think Bishop looks objectively the best. He does, but he needs that mullet, though. Yeah, yeah, he needs a mullet. Like, the body looks good. Everything looks good. The accessories look good. Head scope's fine, but I need a mullet. Yeah. Don't make me have to swap heads with the motherfucker with the old Bishop. I mean, the old bishop's not bad either. I don't, you know. I guess this is for those who never yeah, got, I, I like never that. got I, the I, bishop I, before. Yeah, I, I guess we'll talk about it as we kind of go through this wave. But you know, yeah, if you if you got if you got the old bishop, then you could just you could just use that as your like animated. Bishop, you know what I mean? Like, if you already have that one, I kind of don't see why you would want this one. I don't understand why they cut his hair. I don't know. Like, why'd you take that like that? That was kind of part of his signature look, man. <coughs> yeah. They're like, mullets are offensive. Give him a cut. Not on Bishop, though. Bishop Bishop wore it well, son. He looked like a man with just a, a nice, good perm. Yeah, the the mullet is like a. It's really part of his. Uh, it's like it's like it's like if you shave Wolverine's head bald, you know. Like the mullet is just a the mullet is like a staple, just how he kind of looks. Now, like people need to take Bishop seriously. Come on, guys. Yeah. But yeah, again, looks good. Looks the best. I think it's the best out of this wave. But uh, if you have the old bishop, then you're you're probably good with that. Well, 
26 bucks in November of 2023 for Bishop. Definitely might. I, I'll put a pin. I'm, I don't know if I want to upgrade my, my Bishop. I'm good with the one I got, but uh, I'll think about it. <coughs> oh, baby. Here we go. Speaking of upgrades, uh, I'm thinking I'm probably going to get this Magneto. Upgrade the Magneto I have. Because, uh, yeah, he looks he looks good. But he, he he looks good. No alternate head sculpt though, but that's a, that's not like a deal breaker though, because like I already have a Magneto with an alternate head sculpt, same suit. But I think this body's a slight updated, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Like uh, I have the Magneto that came in. Uh, I think it was. Was it the the family three pack him, uh, Wanda and P Pietro? Yep, that's right. Yeah, because that's the same one I got too. And al although that figure is not terrible, yeah, this Magneto just looks like uh, this Magneto just looks better. I don't know, just the colors look better. I think the head sculpt looks way better. Plus, I was feeling like uh, the other Magneto came with a helmet off. Head sculpt, and I'm like, if this shit fits on his body, then it's like, hey man, you're in good business. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go. In fact, I think there's a couple Magnetos I have with alternate head sculpts. Remember the one in the black and red? Yep, yep. So yeah, so yeah, these are Magneto. To swap it. Uh, I'll probably, I'll probably go in on this if I see it out there in the streets. Uh, same. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about uh, getting this one. Twenty six November, twenty twenty three. Ooh, 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 Wolverine. I mean, this is an easy get if you're a Wolverine fat pass, and, and this is an easy pass if you got too many Wolverines. If you think you got enough, I don't know. I I, I think I'm gonna pick this one up just because it do, it does look like it has a. <clears throat> A new set of claws on them, and, I, and I'm interested in these claws. They're not as yeah. good as the X Force Wolverine one, but they look better than the regular little skinny pieces of plastic they usually put on them. I feel like you can't go wrong with Wolverine, you know? Not really, no. Yeah, looks good. I, I dig it. This, oh, see this one. He does come with a. He does come with an alternate head. Yeah. yeah. Got the mask uh, accessory as well. So, like I said, it's got it's got a little it's got a little bit to to warrant. To like you know what? Maybe maybe I'll give you a go. Like I said, you got you look like you got some media claws. You got the alternate head sculpt. So you got you got you got enough variety there. I mean, hell. All, all Wolverine got is two fucking fists. He he's way ahead of the game. He don't he don't need no open palms. He ain't need to touch nothing. He ain't gotta grab nothing. Yeah, exactly. So if, if any that'll be a definite would definitely be this dude right here. I I I definitely pick this up. Twenty six yeah. bucks November you... of twenty twenty three. What's that? Yeah, if you could, if you missed the last Tiger Stripe Wolverine, then uh, I definitely jump on this one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, I went down the wrong pipe. I'm about to die. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm 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 the enemy now, remember? Listen, I better work. I, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're on the same page. I like this.
I don't know who this Randy is. But all I know As is I love do. those lights on the ceiling. Whoa. It's, just a, it's just a matter of time. Not a not a fan, not a fan of this storm. Uh, see, um, and I'll. I can't, like I don't wanna I don't wanna like offend anybody. But uh you know, just me me personally, I am I'm, I'm not a huge fan of like uh Mohawks. Uh yeah, like I I I don't think Mohawks look really good. Uh, especially, uh, especially on women. I'm, I'm sorry. Like that's just my opinion. Uh, that's just my opinion. So yeah, like I'm not a. I'm. I'm. I don't like this version of Storm at all. Like I was never a fan of Storm with the mohawk. What if I had a mohawk? I mean, but it's it's just the same Storm. Uh, and Trunks, thank yeah. you for letting me know that I was muted. I forgot I was muted. I was dying over here for a second, but either way, I'm back. I mean. The mohawk is fine for Storm, but this is not the outfit for this hairstyle. We all know most when Storm was pimping the fucking mohawk look, she was rocking the the, the leather vest and in, in, in leather pants type getup. She wasn't wearing this yeah. outfit, so why are you now mixing it up? Nah, give her the big boofy hair that she was rocking, the big '97 look, the Tina Turner. Give her her hair back. Yeah, exactly. But it's all good. I got Storm in her in her original white with the long hair, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that hard up for the Storm. Like I said, it's cool, but uh, I'm I'm not not desperate for it. Like I said, my yeah, my, my my ninety seventeen team, my ninety seven team is built already. The squad is up. I'm saying the squad is up. All the all the all the names you know and love. Everybody's at the dinner table. Okay, everybody get a plate. It's delicious. The whole squad, they there, everybody. That's and why. That's 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 what makes this collective so much fun. It's just like when you get to that moment when you got like a everything you need for like to build something. It's like man, that shit looks good. Yeah. Man, that shit looks good. That whole '97 Jim Lee style fucking X Men team, and he's sitting. I'm looking at him like, ooh. Got them all, son, and a little bit of extra, a little extra gravy, too. You know what I'm saying? Throwing the little kitty pride on the side. Like, you know, she wasn't around at that time. She was doing Excalibur shit. But, you know, you still got her. You still got her. She could grab her. She could hang out in the background. Yeah, and you can just kind of... You just see yourself saving money because you're like, yep, I just don't eat this. I'm yeah. Good. Don't need it. Like I said, it, it, it's nice, and like I said, it's awesome for anybody who may who may have not had got the first time around. That's always a good thing. I'm never one to let be like laugh at collectors because they can't get it. I don't know. Everybody should deserve to get a chance to get it at least. Yeah, absolutely. So, like like if you miss if you miss Storm in the white, and uh, yeah, by all means, you know, kind of 
grabbed this one. It's just uh, I, I I didn't miss Storm in the White. I got her. I got it when it came out the first time. And uh, again, much like the Bishop, I don't really think that figure needs an update. And uh, it, it's it's not the right hairstyle for me. So yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I can pass on this one. Yeah, can, can, same can be said about Gambit. Like, looks fine. Like, if you miss the last Gambit, you know. Yeah, this is, this is literally go, get... this is literally a second chance, but maybe I need to look at my Gambit. But I feel like this Gambit's missing something. It got no ab crunch. Or at least maybe yeah. it's not maybe it's not showing in the photo. But it sure like, don't I, look, I, he, he got weight. He got a waist, but I don't see no ab crunch. I wonder if that's like an old photo, like a prototype photo. Cause yeah, like you're right. Cause like here, okay. Now here's the kind of it looks like he's kind of ab crunching right here, right? Am I bugging? Yeah, no. So am I not seeing something? Like, I don't know. I I wonder if I wonder if uh, it's either just like hidden really well, or like if the first picture is just like an old. Like an old, uh, old image, like a prototype image. Maybe, 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 maybe. I mean, again, I, I'm good. I got my Gambit already. It came with all the same shit that you see right here. Same, actual same accessories. Yeah. So, I'm good bred. Like I said, 9017 on deck. Everybody's roll called. But, again, for, sec for, for those who missed the first time around, and now they want to try to build they, they Jim Lee... Listen, don't don't miss out on when the opportunity knocks a second time now. Yeah. I think uh I think that's I think that's where these figures are best, you know, like if you miss these characters the first time, then uh you get uh, you get a second chance. Oh, uh, he he got ab crunch. I, I can see the joint, but it, I don't think it's going to be very much. Oh, you know what? I see it now. I see it now. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's just kind of well hidden, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Shotzi, please let that hair grow. I hope you. I hope you grow. Your hair grows back fast, girl. Cause uh, yeah. the, the shaved head look is not for you. It's just, and I feel like I, I feel like I don't want to like if I, I I I totally respect the reason why she did it. Why did she do I it? I can totally respect the. So I I guess because her sister has cancer, so I guess she wanted to shave her head, uh, as like, like in solidarity. And then I guess they just figured it would make a it would make like a good angle, but yeah, like I don't know, like her, I, like her her signature like long green hair. It was kind of like it was part of her look, you know. I don't know. Um, no. <laughs> Either way, Gambit all right <laughs> hair from the field. The, the, the Thieves Guild is going to send you back $25 November 2023. Yeah, the coat, Gambit's coat always looks stiff. Even the, the first version, the coat wasn't that pliable. Mm -hmm. This one right here is the disappointment of all of them to me, to me honest. Because I feel the last version that just came out in a retro... And then the one that came before that are way better than this fucking rogue. Yeah. Like that face is atrocious. Not to mention yeah. the color seems a little off, but maybe that's just a photo. But that face is rough. Like compared to the last ones that came out, no way, bro. Yeah, this is uh This is by far the worst. The worst one out of the out of the batch. Like I say, even the Marvel Select one is better. She's but, just happy to see you is all. Look, she's 
Yeah, but so, the other rogues had smiles on their faces too. But I'm saying, like, whatever they're trying to, like, because they changed the animation in the cartoon for this new uh, 97. So they did change her face. So, but, like, if you go back, like I said, they just retro carded her, what, about a year or two ago? Yeah. yeah. And then before that, there was her in a two pack, but she's wearing a different outfit. Then before that, she was in a, in a, I forget which wave it was, but there was her in a wave. And then they, then you had to get the fucking other that or the Marvel Selects. But I bought the one in the retro, and the retro looks hell of a lot better than this right here. This shit is a disappointment, to be honest. I like that they did give her the hand where she's holding the glove with the bare hand, so that's cool. But yeah, I'm a pass on this rogue. I'm gonna stick with the with the retro card I got last one, so to, to fill out my team at least. I don't know about the rest of y'all. Y'all can do what y'all want. That's your money. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm good on this one. <clears throat> yeah, totally agree, Tenshi. The Magneto is honestly the only one, uh, the only one worth getting. Tenshi, the e l w almighty wait i mean supreme champion in the in the chat tonight successful title defense against dr disrespect also big ups to that he had to hit him with the breast rope curb stomp so you know it was deadly right there the deadliest rope mm-hmm 26 bucks, November of 2023. <clears throat> Transformers! A lot of shit I will buy. And that's sad to say, too. Cause, you know. uh, that's a bad yeah, I kind of... I'm not familiar with uh, this character. Bro, they're just pumping out a lot of fucking Diaclone colors and G2 shit. This right here, I, I'm not sure. I don't think this is Diaclone. This might be G2, to be honest. This might be G2, okay. but because it's not Hound, it makes me think this is more Diaclone then. Because this ain't Hound. This is uh, Detaris or whatever the fucking name is. Yeah, I don't know. This oh. might... Uh... This might be one that I, uh, I I have to take a pass on. And he's a Decepticon too, so this is, he, he he's not even on a bot. Yeah, it looks all right. It's just that same hound mold that we've gotten before. Yeah, just a repaint. But he's got an Autobot logo on his arm, but he's supposed to be a Decepticon now. That's weird. That is weird. Twenty six bucks, October of twenty twenty three. Oh, this oh one God. I actually, uh, this one I, I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this one. I think she looks good. Uh, I, I like, I like strong arm. I like everything but her head sculpt. It doesn't, it doesn't, the proportions of her head do not match the proportions of her body. The head scope yeah. is still in the fashion of what the cartoon looked like, but then her body, they gave her more of a try to G1 style of, of look to her. The same way they did with yeah. Bulkhead. Same way they yeah, did with Bulkhead. That's, that's the only problem with doing these figures that are based off they, they they can't decide if they want them to be fully G one or fully like supposed to be. But, because uh, like on its own <laughs> like on its own, it's a nice representation of a female Autobot. But like the head sculpt itself just it, it to me just hmm, it, if it was a, maybe a little bit smaller and less looking like robots in disguise and more like a G1, then we'd be on board. Yeah. We'd be on board. Cause like, yeah, look at this. Like, look at the face compared to this body. 
it just feels like this is the wrong head for this body. Yeah. Then on top of that, you got all this blue and white popping off, and then all of a sudden we get the turquoise and the yellow. Just breaking up the color scheme. And, it, and it, it, maybe if it was just the eyes and the lips, I'd give you that. But then you got this little side accent here. And then, like I said, the yellow hair, and it just makes the head look even wider. Like smaller, make that shit a little bit smaller. Make it look like it's a female Autobot. Yeah. This looks like this looks like yeah, like yeah. this looks like this could be fucking Ratchet or Prowl and Drag right here. <laughs> or they're transitioning. Uh, that being said, I still think she looks. I still think she looks good. I'm 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 actually excited for this one. Ah, uh, that's funny. Sorry. Yeah, listen, teach us all. You do you do you. It's just it's, it doesn't yeah. resonate with me. I I. I you know, I watched a little bit of Robots in Disguise, but you know, I'm not like I said, I'm a, I'm a G1 brat, so that's this is me. Yeah, for sure. Twenty six bucks, October of twenty twenty three. But hey, with Transformers, I always say if you like it, you win. So, and uh, it's always good because it keeps Transformers alive. So. Okay, I, I'm looking forward. So we're finally finishing off the Insecticons with Bombshell. About mm. time. Took took a, took a minute. Yeah. But if you Looks if you if you invested in that, then hey, now here's here's the payoff. Uh, this is an easy pass for me. Oh yeah. It's, it's just that uh, I prefer Bombshell to be like smaller. Oh is yeah, there... that's fine. Yeah, you know, like, I just, I don't know. They're supposed to be, like, mini-bots. So I'm just, I, I, I'm not interested in, like, a deluxe class Insecticons. But they look good, and these will probably scale. No, probably, they probably would still be too big for your, like, masterpiece. No, but you could use them as just clone bugs. Because so, that's what I was thinking to do with them, is just, they would just be clone bugs. To go next okay. to the my masterpiece scale Insecticons, and, then, yeah. and then the masterpiece yeah. scale Insecticons are already fairly small to begin with. Yeah, like they look, they look fine. Like they don't look bad. It's just uh, if they were scaled down, I, I'd, I'd be more interested. But uh, yeah, but I think if you scale these ones good. down, they would look. They'd probably be look. Like, they they'd end up being like those shitty little Dinobots. See, that's what I. That's the. That's the catch twenty two, is that because they're bigger, they could make them better, and they could make them, they could give them more detail, and they could make them look nicer because they're at a higher price point. But because they're so big, I don't want them. Oh, so yeah. it's like a, like I said, it's like a, it's like a double edged sword, you know. I if they it. were smaller, if they were smaller, they wouldn't be as nice. But then I would probably buy them. Do you have those like Titan Return ones? Yeah, yeah. yeah those weren't too bad. Yeah. Yeah, I miss. I skipped out on those uh, Titan Returns ones. Th those were a pretty good scale. Yeah, yeah. See, those are the ones I have. I think those ones are perfect. Twenty six October, twenty twenty three. Yeah, this is uh, this is another one I'm kind of I'm kind of excited for. Now this character uh, he comes from which show the the Cyberverse one, right? Cy Cyberverse, yeah. Yeah, Shadow Striker. So I have I've yet to watch it. I've seen clips of it, but I've never watched it. But I hear I hear some wild shit, like a wild story arcs they got up in it though. Yeah, I haven't watched a lot of Cyberverse myself, but uh. I don't know. I kind of, I kind of dig this design. Yeah, I, I don't know who the character is because I don't watch Cyberverse, but I know they're gonna retool this to be a sideburn. Like it's just obvious, so that that's what I'm yeah. looking forward to. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't know who the character is. Yeah, me neither. Like he, I, like supposedly he's like a bounty hunter or something. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Figure looks cool. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick it. I'm gonna get this. 
That's a new character, so. Yeah, like see, like that's the thing is like I'm, like I'm a sucker anytime you give me like a new character. Like if you yeah. give me like a new character, then I'm 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 almost always on board. Yeah. I don't even think he has any uh, insignia on him. Uh, da- Daniel's kind of correcting us. Apparently, it's a she. Oh, it's a she. All right. It's oh. a lady, but it's a lady. It's a lady. So, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that being said, if it's a if it's a female, then I'm gonna buy it no matter what. So. Uh, I was literally gonna say the same thing. That gives me even more incentive to. Yeah. I'm still gonna pass. I don't need it. Shadow Striker. But like, okay, just a proper example then. Thank you for pointing this out for us, Daniel. Look at the head proportion compared to this female bot compared to strong arm. Look at the proportion. Like the head's not like outshining the rest of the body. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, if, if strong arm's head was just a little bit smaller, it, it'd be in business. Yeah. That's fair. 26 bucks, October of 2023. You know who I want them to do? Uh, who's like the wolf guy? Like, I don't remember what show he's from, but he's like a wolf. I think maybe he's from Robots in Disguise. Steeljaw? Oh, no, that's, uh, that's a cassette, right? That's which one? Is he, are you talking about Blaster's little cassettes? No, no. He's he's like bipedal, but he's kind of got like a wolf head. Oh, I know who you're talking about, but I I don't remember the the name. Yeah, this uh. <laughs> yeah. It... Yeah, I'm 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 all in on this uh, Dreadwing. I got the Skyquake already, so. Same. Same. I'm ready, baby. My body is ready, and my oh, I don't know about bank account that. is ready. Let's go. I don't know about my body, but I believe you. Da- Damn, son, you gotta, you got to, you got to get ready then. <laughs> I need to get ready. <laughs> you gotta get ready and stay ready. Oh, you, got, you got to stay ready. This hobby's getting stressful. <laughs> Listen, it, it, it's not worth doing if you ain't, can't do it hard. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. This stuff looks good though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just pretty much a, a straight repaint, but in this case, right, it works because they're supposed to be like brothers. Yep. So, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm stoked. Man, these prime ones are looking good though. Yeah, I don't like. I said they should have just committed to doing a whole just prime wave instead of just legacy. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't mind them like mixing it up, but I, I wish that we got like more, like I, I wish that we got like more multiversal characters, you know. Like, like I, like this line should, unpop, unpopular opinion. But I feel like this line should have like minimal like G one representation because the whole. I, I thought the whole point of this line was like the multiverse is opening up, you know. I don't know. <coughs> I agree with you. That are those are mod figures. They're taking forever to roll out characters. It, yeah. it just it just it just makes me feel like it's gonna take. It just makes me feel because they're rolling them out so slowly. It's 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 gonna take so long to kind of complete any teams or. And because they're like we just like we just got an animated prowl in like the last wave, but we haven't seen anything animated since then. And then we're just kind of sporadically like, here's from this, and here's from this, and here's from this. But if you're trying to build like teams, or if you're trying to like okay, like I want a complete Autobot team from Armada, it it feels almost like forget it, you know, like it's gonna. Like, I don't know if we're ever going to get there. Never. You will never get there. 
and then I, you know, I see we're getting something like de- de- detritus, and I'm like, <laughs> detritus. <laughs> I, 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 I can't come to work. I got detritus. Well, it's just, it's just, you know, like the it's like the beast wars it's like before they were hard for beast wars and we were getting like beast wars characters and then they out now the beast wars have just kind of like fizzled out the beast wars is over <laughs> yeah that's what i mean like beast wars is over and we never there's still so many characters from the cartoon that we never got let alone like the comics or the old figures like we never got any of that shit and then now they're like, oh, okay, like multiverse, like oh, we're opening the multiverse, and we're only opening the multiverse a little bit when we should be like, it should be like wide open. Listen though, like I don't want to complain. I'm, 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 I'm gonna just be happy with what I can get. And uh, yeah, like I said, he, he looks good. I'm, I'm gonna get it. I, 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 I have to get it. I already got Skycake. Fifty six bucks October of twenty twenty three. Ooh. Oh baby. Yeah. Blood John. A, yeah, this is an easy pickup. Not uh, for me, it's not. Not a pickup. No. One is yeah, just he... a repaint of Tarn. Okay. I want a bludgeon that's just a samurai that does not transform because that's what made bludgeon cool i need a pretender i need a pretender a dude who does not transform has a robot <clears throat> inside him but i'm like let's just make the dude let's make the dude doesn't have to transform and then if you want to make a little tank dude of him as well go right ahead but i need the pretender I want the samurai with the skull fucking face. Not something that's repainted from someone else so he can transform. He sh- the samurai form should not be transforming. He is a pretender. The inside uh, form is a little purple tank, but the outside is a fucking samurai with a skull face. Matt, Although, you, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was going to ask uh, uh, the... I'm thinking about not getting this actually because I have the the Revenge of the Fallen Bludgeon. He wasn't in the movie, but they made him for that line anyway, and that I still think that's the best one. Like you, you should if you don't have it already, you should definitely like go on a hunt for that one. Yeah, it, it, it's so really really good. Okay, uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll check it out. Um, again, I'll, I'm not I'm not mad at this version, uh, although I would much prefer. Having just a regular pretender shell, I'm not uh, I'm not put off enough that I'm not gonna get it. And again, I never got the turn, so I'm, I'm probably gonna get this. Uh, uh, so yeah, but also like Super Seven did did a bludgeon not that long ago, right? Like that didn't transform. Yeah. So that might be like a more viable option mm-hmm. if you want a more like traditional bludgeon. Are you gonna get that one? No. I'm gonna fuck with Super Seven. Okay. They be wildin'. <laughs> they be wildin' with those prices, man. <laughs> right. Plus, I can't buy it. You know why? Why? I know the French phone. Okay. okay. <laughs> Oh my god. 30, 36 bucks October of 2023. Trash Master. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the stupidest name you can give, man. Yeah. You guys remember Mix Master? Yeah. Well, he's Trash Master now. I'm getting it. I'm getting it, though. I'm getting it. I don't know. I think he looks cool. And it's like a it's like a garbage truck. Yeah, he's neat. He, he is yeah. neat. Yeah. I I've been getting all these new like uh junkie ons. Whoa, it can be a trailer too. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm uh, I'm in on this. I think he looks good. I I, I kind of I like the I I like the idea too that he's like a he's like a garbage truck. I don't know. This is like a unique vehicle, you know. It's like a unique alt mode that we kind of don't get all the time. Like, there's not a lot of garbage truck transformers. Yeah, we got a wreck car that was pretty good from animated years ago. But that was about it. Yeah. Did they repurpose Bulkhead's head right there? Yeah, they. Yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Hasbro. We gave him Doc Spike. Once they kind of get all these like new Junkions out of their system, I I hope they give us more Junkions in like the Studio series. <clears throat> Thirty six October of twenty twenty three. Man, that looks great. Yeah, from Yolo Park. We've seen some of this stuff before. We got ourselves a Megatron Advanced Model Kit Pro. Man. So he doesn't transform, right? No, he doesn't. And you gotta put it together yourself. <clears throat> tall is he? What scale is he? Almost 8 inches. Almost 8 inches. Yeah, it looks uh, looks nice, but Jimmy, are you going in on this? Uh, no, I'm I'm not. I'm too lazy to put stuff together, so. <laughs> Unless I can, like, ship it off to your house and you guys do your thing and then ship it back to me complete, uh, I can do that. All right, all right, done. All right. Uh, you, you pay for shipping. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's... Oh, and you got battle damage. That's cool. The key to Victor Sigma. I like all the weathering they gave him. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Just, just take this and put it in a movie, and you have a realistic Megaton. Oh, and this just got diecast too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, it looks tight. Sixty five bucks, October twenty twenty three. You motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, so this this came out of nowhere, but you remember how we waited like over a year to get all those menasaur parts separately? Well fuck you. You can get them all at once now. Which I'm getting. Which is good for me because I could never find none of them because they never showed up in any of the stores around here. So, see, like, that's that's like I had to actively put in some work to complete my Menasaur. Like I had to like put in some work to find all these pieces. But uh, you know what? Again, I, it it is what it is. Like I I I think it's a great figure. I'm glad people are getting uh, another another shot at it. Because yeah. again, unless, unless you're going third party, this is the best Menasaur available now. And is there is there even a third party Menasaur? Mm -hmm. I I never even found Motormaster in like two of the uh, one of the legs and arms. I think so. I'll just go in on this pack. Yeah, you know. Just kind of makes me think twice. Like if they do another combiner, I'll maybe just wait and yeah. uh, hold out that we'll we'll just get a box set later. Yeah. I like those alt modes. Yeah, alt modes good. Robot modes ain't that bad. Uh, combiner modes pretty decent. 
I I would suggest. Uh, I don't I don't know like d- depending on like how how people feel about it personally, because when you put this guy together, his legs, the cars are on the back, right? Like you, the cars you can only see them from the back. Yeah, but uh, there's an upgrade kit out right now where it has pieces so you could put the cars at the front, which I guess technically is not accurate. You know, maybe some yeah. people like that better. I, I would, pr- I know it's accurate to the cartoon to have like all gray legs at the front, but I, I would prefer to see the cars. Yeah, so I would suggest. If anybody's interested, maybe kind of, maybe kind of seek out that uh, that upgrade. It's not really an upgrade kit, but be kind of type it into eBay, and there's like a there's like a part you can buy so that you can have the cars be in the front. Uh, probably, uh, probably be a, a wise investment to maybe kind of grab it now because you know I think it's only going to be harder to get, especially now that this is now that people are getting another shot at it. I haven't watched reviews on this guy. Uh, combined, how tall is he? I mean, he's not like Devastator tall, right? No. No, he's yeah. he's like a he's like a command class. Oh, uh, okay. Like I said, that I, the one I was looking for yesterday, upgrade kit, that one that sold out. It gives him a little extra height, but yeah, he's still small. But that one sold out. It gives it gives you better feet. Better hands, makes them taller, gives them a new chest piece. But I'm definitely going to scoop this one up, though. Um, just I'm just real quick. I'm just about to jump on a boat. Yeah, it's about that time. <clears throat> well, this pack will cost you a buck ninety. Scheduled to drop in September of 2023. Take care of this, Jimmy. While I jump on a boat. Not doing uh, criminal act. Oh, look, it's it's a sexy anime lady, isn't that cool? Oh, baby, okay. Uh, I'm probably, I'm probably, uh, I'm probably getting in, I'm probably getting this. Uh, I like near near automata, I, I never finished it, never, I, I haven't finished uh, the game yet. But uh, yeah, what I've what I've played of it so far, I think it's uh, I think it's dope. I I love Two B. I think she's delightful, and uh, it's figure art. So you know, how could it be? How could it be bad? Have you seen the anime? It's not an anime. It's a video game. No, there's an anime. Is there? Uh huh. No, I haven't. And I've seen it. It's an anime. Is it good? It it it, it kind of. It's basically the anime is the game, kind of like the story oh, okay. narrative. Okay, so the I guess the so the anime is just kind of like a like the game, but yeah, but it okay. looks real good though. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's that's fine too. I actually didn't even know there was an anime, so I might uh I might actually just kind of watch that and. Uh, for the hell of it, but yeah, I, I like the I like the game. So I I don't have the bring arts to be. So I'm a, I'm gonna probably cop this one. Does TNT only play that Jason Statham movie? It seems like they play very selected movies. They love to play the Meg. And they love to play like Star Wars. So 
So, 84 bucks for this. February of 2024. Hmm. All right, dope baby from One Piece. We got Yamato. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think she looks good. I think the this I think this they got the scale right. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get this personally. Like I, I'm not. A, I'm not a completist when it comes to One Piece. How are you not a completist on the One Piece? It's just uh, gotta be. You know, like I gotta be careful. I can't. I can't go too far down these uh, rabbit holes with imports. You know. That is one big baseball bat. And I prefer to, like, I prefer to get, like, the main characters from, like, different series. Like, I'll try to get, like, the main characters from various series versus, like, going too hard on one series. Yeah, like, the scale, the scale is, uh, the scale is good. Like, she looks good next to, uh, Luffy. I guess she must come with a, a face scope for Luffy as well. Yeah. Shh, 95 I, bucks, though. Whew. Yeah, expensive. <clears throat> February of 2024. Uh, oh. uh, so this is uh, Vehicle Voltron? Yeah. As this... Uh... Yeah, this is the mini series by uh, Action Toys, and uh, I, I already have a, a mini, like classic '80s Voltron, like an original, and I'm thinking about picking this up to uh, to scale with him because he does look pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm gonna tap like... in on this one too. It's it's a small one, but it's nice though. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's articulated. It comes apart. It's all good. I look nice next to the Soul Chikogan one too. It's mini action. It's 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 miniature. Miniature. Well, I'm I'm a Voltron sucker, so I'll pretty much pick up anything they put out. So. Looks, looks decent. Yeah. Never it's really not, that into vehicle Voltron. It's not, not a bad price considering that it actually can come apart. Mm. You know, you would expect that price point for just a like a straight up figure that's yeah. uh, that can't. You know. Agree. Yeah. Nah, I might like I said. I, I'm 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 I put a pin in this one. Sixty-six bucks for first quarter of twenty twenty-four. <clears throat> Common Rider. So this is uh, God help me, Z O. So this is okay. This is figure arts. All right. So you get Common Rider Z O from the uh, Heisei Generations. So uh, I'm not the Common Rider guy. You you know me, but he looks good. I like him. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a not super knowledgeable when it comes to Common Rider. Like again, I've I've seen I've seen like I've seen bits and pieces of different different uh, series. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's a that's another rabbit hole that I just uh, I just can't I can't go down. I I say this every time. Like the only Common Rider I would buy is whatever Common Rider got adapted to Mask Rider. If, if I could buy that and put it with my uh, my my lightning collection, I, I would maybe maybe do that. But obviously, that's not this, so I'm out. This is time for us, Carmen Rider. He's got clocks all over his body. <laughs> Wish I had clocks all over my body. Yeah, it looks good. I just uh, 
And I just it's just another rabbit hole. I can't I can't get I can't I can't uh, down. You know. I'll, I'll just buy it for you, and then you just have to buy more. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's cruelty. Oh man, you got the whole squad. Seventy five. March of 2024. No, you don't, because it's sold out. <laughs> that was cool, though. This was really cool. <laughs> this is a common Rider build rabbit tank form. He looks like yeah, a flesh. This one looks. Uh, this one looks pretty dope. He's, he's, throwing, right. he's throwing up gang signs. He's blood and crip. Look at this guy. Shit. Oh, man. That's how you know you're real gangster. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, yo, what set you rep? Both. What do you mean, both? I see what I say, both. <laughs> <clears throat> What you want to do about it? You want to you want to want to fight? I'm pretty sure there's other uh, websites where you probably could find common right order, but if, as far as BBTS is concerned, it is sold out. Another one sold out. We got the ghost. This one is a pretty cool one too. The ghost. Yeah. One orange flavored. By the way, Rob Van Dam, AEW. Woo. You know what though? Like, why are they doing that match next week? Like, I'm I'm surprised they wouldn't know. state that for All In. That's what I thought. Unless unless that match next week is just like a red herring, like maybe like uh, maybe like Jack Perry like jumps him before the match starts or something, and maybe we set up like a hardcore match at All In. It, it just see it just seems. It's just kind of a head scratcher. Like we're we're bringing we're bringing in Rob Van Dam for potentially only one match. Let's let's not save it for this major pay per view that we're doing. I think Tony's so so bad trying to get them to get them ratings up on Dynamite and shit. That he's like, fuck it, we'll throw this big match that should be a pay per view. Put it on regular TV, free TV. Yeah, maybe. Unless, like I said, unless it's like a red herring to set something up for the pay-per-view. You know what was the saddest part about that, though? What? How these marks in the audience don't even know. Y'all sit there and sing Judas, and y'all don't know Rob Van Dam's song from fucking ECW. Come on. It's not yeah, even real, it's not right? even that hard. Spect. Walk. How hard is that? It's like it's like four words. <laughs> what do you say? Respect. Walk. Are you talking to me? Like, come on. That's funny. I saw that shit. Now, there were some people trying to do it, to like, but it was just like, not even, bro. I'm like, son, if this was Philly, that shit would have been nutso. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, again, maybe that's something, too, where maybe it was kind of not the right location. Like you said, if it would have been at Philly, place would have been going nuts. Again, because I think people are so used to like uh, one of a kind that uh, people probably weren't cluing in at first that it was RVD. No. It's like when Roderick. It's like when Roderick Strong made his debut, and at first, like End of Heartache comes on, and like you could tell the crowd had no idea who it was. But Van Damme's different, though. Everybody know that's his song. Yeah, yeah maybe. Pantera Walk, but, come on, man. Yeah, it was definitely nice seeing him come out to, uh, coming out. Because, like, as soon as I heard that riff, I was like, oh, shit, I already knew what it was. 
Yeah, not me the too. not me to too. mention you know it's fucking Jerry Lynn, but it was like come on, as soon as I because I, I was sitting there like Rob Van Dam, Rob Van Dam, and then and then and I was like, oh shit, it's on, bro. Fuck Jerry Lynn and Rob Van Dam have had so many great matches together. Mm-hmm. I was like, why? Well, like I was just kind of scrolling through Facebook and uh, I, I I came. A, upon the clip where it was uh, like ECW and Rob Van Dam went for the spin kick and Jerry Lynn like ducked and like just turned it into a leg drop. Yeah, I remember that. Fuck. Jerry, you know, Jerry Lynn is someone that, that like he doesn't get, he doesn't get enough respect. Like people don't talk about Jerry Lynn enough for being, for being one of the all time greats. I, I have a wrestling question. Yeah, sure. Who who was the dude who said, uh, I can't feel my legs and you ain't gonna need them? <laughs> that was, uh, that was New Jack. Uh, that was, <laughs> that was That's what I remember. <laughs> Jack, Jack, I can't feel my legs. You ain't gonna need them. <laughs> uh, so it's it's okay, way. you don't need them. <laughs> <laughs> Bombs away. Bombs away. <laughs> oh, may we never forget New Jack. No. Hold on, I, I have to transition just for some New Jack and, and my blood. Bombs away. <laughs> Bombs away. <laughs> All right. Alright, well as you see, also sold out, so And you're not completing this squad, that's for sure. Also sold out. Oh my god. I guess I guess common ride is more popular than we think, huh? Mm-hmm. You know. This one looks nice, you know, nice little like uh red Mm, kind of got a bit of a Beetleborg vibe to it. Yeah. Whoa, what kind of sword is that? It's a, it's a steering wheel. He stole it off a car. Reminds me of like the Red Turbo Ranger. Because wasn't his steering wheel, wasn't his uh, sword like a steering wheel? Yo, I just realized he's got a tire wrapped around his b- fucking body. This is like a, obviously. I get. I guess all common riders are have drive motorcycles, but I guess this one seems more like motorcycle inspired, like his uh, his suit. He's like I drive cars. Vroom vroom. Like it's like, like I just imagine like he's that he's that like little brother common rider that always wants to tag along with his much cooler like big brother common riders where they're all like ghosts and like insects and like all kinds of weird shit they were like you know like and he's just like i'm a i'm a motorcycle common rider and they're like yeah cool like all kind of drive motorcycles like, I, I, i'm a race car like, he, like i just yeah. noticed his helmet is a spoiler on the top of it yeah, i'm a race car i'm a race car <laughs> I'm a race, I'm a race car, <laughs> I'm a race car. <laughs> Vroom, vroom, bitch. Vroom, vroom. No, yeah, I'm just, uh, you, you, you stay here. I'm just going to go over there with that scorpion coming right in. <laughs> he said, but I'm a race car. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my bed frame is a race car. Did you guys know that? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, all right. So, like, I think I need to get this to just, like, sit by my bed, you know? He's got to say, I'm a race I car. Vroom, vroom. vroom. <laughs> brum, brum. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you're gonna have to look deep because he's already sold out, Jimmy. Because he's a race car. Brum, brum. God. His name is Common Rider Drive. Whoa, couldn't have seen that coming. Because I'm a race, race car guy. Brum, brum. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that's funny. Oh, this, is, this, this, this is cool. Like, we got a, yeah, like, SH figure where it's Bruce Lee. Uh, it's been a minute since Bruce Lee has kind of uh, appeared in the figure arts line, and uh, the last Bruce Lee's they did were really nice, so I suspect this one is going to be really nice as well. Comes with some uh, nunchucks. Chaku? 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 Chaka? Chakalaka? Nunchakus. <laughs> to the truffle shuffle. That's cool. That was tight. If you like if you like Bruce Lee, you know. Yeah. How many that, head sculpts we got? Two head sculpts, I see. That's that screaming head sculpt's a bit rough though. Yeah. Other ones are okay. But... Is somebody recycling in your house, man? Uh yeah, it's just uh, my my neighbors are outside. Hold on, let me uh, let me shut my window. Bruce Lee. Hmm. How big is this Bruce Lee? <laughs> oh, he's tiny. Oh, wow. Are they scaling them like to the actual life or something? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's oh. that's expensive for something that won't scale with anything. Yeah. So. Eighty-four bucks. February twenty twenty-four. Oh baby. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of not getting this. I don't, I don't like these uh, doll things. What, what Mezco? Yeah, this is Mezco. What ne Mezco needs to do is just make this a one twelve figure. Oh, if they may, if see, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping now they, if they got this license, they'll do a one twelfth uh, Art the Clown. If they did, I'd, I'd be, I'd be all over that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit about these doll things. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he, he, he looks creepy. He looks creepy. It's just uh, I don't get the fascination with like if, if they did the Chucky stuff, which makes sense, but everything else I don't understand. Like I, I don't need Art the Clown as a as a kitty doll, you know. Yeah, exactly. I, I I don't again. I I don't know why they bother with these like Living Dead dolls, and I don't know why they bother with all that shit. Like the the real money is in the one twelfth. Why not just forget all that stuff and just pump more effort and put put all that money into the one twelfth, you know? Yeah. But look, clearly, people buy this though because they <laughs> you know, they make a fuck ton of these and they sell. So yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah, they do. I guess there's a market for it, like anything, you know? Yeah. For a doll, this looks fucking detailed as fuck. <coughs> yeah, Ninety-five bucks, May of twenty twenty-four. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Bandai. Doing uh yeah, this is the minus one version of of Godzilla. Uh, he looks good. Uh, I'm so far I'm digging this version of Godzilla. He's all crispy. He's like crispy. Uh, yeah, he's crispy. He's like a chicken nugget, you know. He's he's crispy. <laughs> he's crispy. Yeah, a, a McDonald's chicken nugget. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Uh, this is a statue though, so. I wouldn't really uh, have any uh, reason to get it, but it looks good. I don't know. It's N and J versus Sky Blue. I'm I'm already sleeping. Break out your camera so you can slow mo on her booty. Oh, I, I want to slow mo a booty. 
See, you're the problem, Candy Corn. You're the problem. Oh, my name's Jimmy, not Candy Corn. You got you fell for the trap. You fell for the trap. I see, like you see this trap? You see how quickly he fell for the trap? Listen, walk, walk, um, walk right into it. Walk right into it. Mm-hmm. Listen, I, I'm young. I require needs. <laughs> you ain't no damn baby. What you need to do is not fall for the trap. I <laughs> am the trap. <laughs> Over here thinking he the booty warrior. When he's just a candy corn. Mm-mm-mm. Listen, you mentioned booty in slow mo. What's a candy corn motherfucker like me supposed to do? <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> You're supposed to be a gentleman. I think I just did a racism towards myself. Mm-mm-mm. This guy. This guy. I keep it spicy. Dang, man. Dang. Mm-hmm. All right, well, Godzilla statue will set you back in 95, February of 2024. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this... This this looks really really nice. Uh, classic Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, Indiana Jones cloth goods look good too. Indiana and cloth do, 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 do. goods. Not a fan Not like of that. Bro, it's a piece of shit. That's a nice. Harrison Ford likeness is, uh, is all right, but it's better than Hasbro. Yes, yeah, it is better than Hasbro. So it it's cool. I, I... Effort. It's got spiders That's cool. and a web. And but a big ball to... chasing it him. It needs to be in a pack with like an Alfred Molina. And he's to got a big whip. Cause it's discount Harris and Ford. But it's better than Hasbro. All right, let's see what this guy comes with. Whips, whips. Got guns, guns, darts, and stuff. Got hands and heads. One forty-five. Better fucking come with the temple. Better no ball. I I can't. For a buck forty-five, I cannot justify one forty-five for that. Fourteen fifteen deposit. In case you change your mind, you asked out of fourteen fifty. That's gas money. Mm-hmm. June of twenty twenty-four. Oh, baby, here we go. Uh-huh. Yeah. So we uh we saw Monster Arts tease while ago that uh they had got the Yu-Gi-Oh license I'm stoked man I'm really excited for this this is I think this is going to drop next year uh this blue eyes white dragon easily my most anticipated release for next year yeah, I'm super excited man I pre-ordered 3 of them 3 Whoa. Yeah That's crazy yeah, baby, I'm getting three. See, there you go. <laughs> got he got three blue eyes in in the show, you know. Is that that fourth one? It got like uh, ripped up or something. Can I have one? Like, remember he went into Yugi's grandpa. Like he went into the card shop and his grandpa had the blue eyes, and then he took it and he's like, no, like. Fuck you, Solomon. I'm the only <laughs> motherfucker that's gonna have blue eyes and then he ripped it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 excited. I think it I think it looks really tight. Three blue eyes. Set your yeah. back. Buy some money. One blue eyes, 
only sets you back a buck forty. Fourteen dollar deposit, February of twenty twenty four. Getting three of them. From X XO six, we got Star Trek three: The Search for Spock. Commander Krug. He's got ridges on his face. He's a Klingon. If you like Klingons, he's a commander. He's commander Com of the Klingons. Commander Clitters? That's what I hear. Is that Christopher Lloyd? Mm, rooted hair. Hold on a second. <clears throat> <laughs> X X O six is just going hard with these Star Trek six scale figures. <laughs> like I, we look at one of these at least once a week. Who did I just say this dude looks like? Christopher Lloyd. I did say Christopher Lloyd, didn't I? What is it? Is that? Is he played by him? Yes, he is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Christopher Lloyd. Okay. Yeah, I can see the doc in yeah. his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look at that. We learned something today. Get your Christopher Lloyd cling on. Yeah. Dr. Klingon. We got to get this DeLorean to 88 miles per hour. Jabruti, Arfach, Nilach, Nilach, McFly. Why? <laughs> uh, that shit's funny. Set you back two ninety five, twenty nine fifty deposit. Second quarter of twenty twenty four. Batman. Arkham Origins, Batman. Arkham, oh, it's Origins. Never mind. That's infinitely less cool. I mean, it's not In that bad, is it? Is it that bad? Or Origins is... It's okay. It's not as bad as people say. But I don't I don't think that Kevin Conroy came back to do that one, so it was just one of those let's not talk about it games. Hmm. I keep forgetting collision is tomorrow too. That man gonna set you back five fifty five. Eighty three twenty five deposit January twenty twenty four. Death stroke. Mm-hmm. Only so this were a fucking figure. So side shows, collectibles. Because God help us, we can't get a classic <clears throat> articulated death stroke. Nah, that's asking too much. It is. 
far too much. Kinda looks like the Revel Tech Deathstroke. It's cool though. Yeah. Pack out on a uh, pack out engine. It uh, sounds like, huh? Oh dang! <clears throat> yeah. We about that little parking lot brawl. It's a good looking statue. What's with like the what's with like the face thing that Swerve's always wearing? Mmm. I would think he would be hot wearing that shit inside. But I guess like he's a makes, bunch of he's just a bunch of goons, I guess. I don't know. Like it makes it looks like uh like he's like a he's like about to hit up a bank or something, you know? Like it's like a ski mask or whatever. Well, that's what it is, though. Yeah, that's but that's what I mean. But like, what's what's the? Did he ever kind of explain, or did he ever kind of give a reason for it? it, it it's just the it style. Just it's to... just the style, I guess. I guess. You know, look, Aeon Fox hanging out with him now. He get himself a Scully Master wear. Everybody get one. Now I get one. I did, I guess, uh, I guess you do you, you know? Hmm? Look, you can put it on your desk next to your scissors and stapler. And not dead plant. Six fifty with a ninety seven fifty deposit, July of twenty twenty four. Okay, so this is uh this is past Gojo. This is the uh, second uh Gojo in the figure arts line. This is this based off season two, like the first mm -hmm. the first arc of season two, it's like the Gojo's past arc. Uh so I guess this, this is that figure arts is uh giving us version of Gojo. It's nice. And probably probably uh probably an easy pass for me. I would think most people would want him and is more like is more like regular look. But it looks tight. I like the the hands in the pocket. Yeah. Yeah, like it's uh, it's like a, it's like a nice detail that they gave him like a flip phone, you know, because this is supposed to take place in like the past. I don't know, this is like a nice detail that you maybe wouldn't think of at first, but. got the orange cassidy like pocket thing going on eighty seven bucks march of twenty twenty four well, 88 bucks, actually. And then, uh, yeah, getting, uh, so yeah, you know, we just saw with Gojo. This is, uh, Saguru. This is, like, his, his, his part, his partner, you know. And looks, looks fine. Probably, uh, 
probably if you're if you're going in on this one, you you know you'd probably want the uh, Gojo too. You'd probably probably want them both, right? I mean, if you're gonna get one, you gotta get the other. Yeah. I I think though the I think the appeal here is that you would really like want them both. Uh, like Gojo is like super popular right now. Like he's like the new like. Uh, you know, it's like the new popular, it's like the new popular like anime character. So I think that figure stands stands alone a lot better. This one, I I think it's sort of dependent on if you're if you're getting the Gojo, because I I don't know, like I I I don't read a, a lot of manga, like I haven't read the manga, so I don't know if he appears like down the road, but I I don't recall that he appears at all in like present times. Like, I don't recall him in season one unless I'm just drawing a blank. I sorta I sorta didn't love the first season, so I kinda have a very like vague memory of it, but also eighty eight bucks. April of 2024. Yeah, also from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, again, I think this is the the second the second version of Toto. I think we already got like a version where he had his shirt on, and you know this is your very like stereotypical uh, wants to fight strongest person character. You know, you could tell by his lack of of shirt. Showing off all the striations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's just kind of, he's just kind of like that Goku character where he's like, "Oh, are you are you strong? Like, I'll, I'll fight you." Good though. Looks good. I don't know. I like that he's like bigger than uh, Yuji. Eighty-eight bucks, February of twenty twenty-four. Mm -hmm. Overly priced Dante. Oof. We got Devil May Cry three Ultimate Premium Master Line Dante Deluxe One Fourth Scale Limited Edition Statue with Bonus. Dang, that slice of pizza, man! It's all about that slice of pizza. You can hold the pizza, you can hold the gun, you can hold two guns. If you if you buy this statue and you have him holding anything other than the pizza, what are you what are you doing with your What life? about the guitar sword over here though? That's not not the pizza. You should be able to hold the guitar and the pizza, but it doesn't look that way. It's too bad. That's unfortunate. Pizza. That's the bonus. <laughs> That's actual the bonus. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> like that's an extra fifty dollars right there. The, the the bonus. Worth it. Worth every motherfucking penny. I get the pizza, and he's like, "Yeah, pizza. We got pizza." It's like, man, I wish I had more pizza. Oh, who's that? I guess he got I, I'm gonna buy these. I'm gonna buy these both, and I'm not gonna display them with the pizza. Yeah. And then like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send those pictures to Matt. Signed, sealed, delivered, pizzaless. And and that's when he unfriends me.
Ooh, you see the price there? It's about around 17, 17.45 there with a 261 and 75 cent deposit. Not a refundable. In case you change that mind, man. February of 2025. God damn. They, they, I guess they want you to save up. They want you to save up for that pizza, Matt. It's all, it's all about the pizza. It's all about the pizza. Overly priced Akuma. We got Street Fighter yeah. Origins Akuma 112 scale statute. From PC like collectible a, for PCS collectibles. He was like a necklace of ball sacks around his. The look the striations though. It's there, 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 there. Look at that muscle mass. Oh my goodness, he's just fucking. That's what egg whites will get you right there. That's the body. That's all protein. No carbohydrates. Pop the gi off too. Look at this. Look at that face. He's so buff. His face has got striations. <laughs> oh my goodness. Parking lot brawl. This should be exciting. Hey, you know, that's why I kind of to say this all the time but you know you can't count out rampage because sometimes you get you get fun stuff like this sometimes you know You see the price? Not for the broke boys out there in these Oof. streets. You see the down payment. You see that non-refundable. In case you change your mind. That's heavy. Mm-hmm. And that will do it for a figure news. Now... I think we could uh, talk about. Uh, do we want to talk about the the topic yet, or we want to talk about turtles? Uh, I think we should save turtles for last, uh, just in case. Uh, we wanna we wanna because we're probably gonna spoil it and. Oh yeah, I guess so. You know that way, if people kind of don't want to hear our spoiler talk, they can they can leave, and that way they're not like missing anything. They can just come back. They can just come back later and hear us talk about turtles. Yeah, they could do that. They can. All right. So uh, then we'll just get. We'll just. We'll, we'll do topic then. Yep. All right. Cool. 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 I forgot what the topic was. Jimmy, <laughs> no, actually, I know what I remember what it was. But Jimmy, you lead off. All right. Uh, so earlier we talked about the uh, the Menasaur, uh Transformers Menasaur a multi pack that they're they're putting out and that kind of gave us an idea of uh uh how we feel about about box sets um you know not just transformers you you can throw you know DC multiverse in there marvel legends what have you uh power rangers that, that's probably one we're going to bring up uh i don't know for for me if we're just talking transformers uh i think in terms of box sets, I think combiners should come first. I don't think combiners should be uh, sold separately. I think they should call all come in one pack. Like I, I don't know anybody who's ever gonna say I only want Motor Master and not, yeah. you, know, you know what I mean, or or you know throw Power Rangers in there. I only want you know this Time Force Ranger, and not any of the others. Yeah, I hear you saying. <laughs> All right, like Power Rangers, I could maybe make a case for. Like, I could, I could maybe see like 
if you're like, okay, I'm only going to collect, like, the Blue Rangers, or I'm only going to collect, like, Green Rangers. Okay, yeah, that that's fair. But, yeah. uh, like, that's the, that's the thing with, uh, that's the thing with a uh, combine combiner specifically. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty unsatisfying, unless you, unless you you have them all, all you know what I mean. It's like it's like the it's like the train bots, for example. Oh yeah. Like each one is just kind of okay. The the real the real. Money is going to be when you get all of them and you build right in. Like, that's what it's going to all be about. The problem is that from the point you get the first train bot to the point you get the, the sixth train bot, you could put it together. They're just kind of boring. Like combiners, specifically, I feel like they should really always just come in a box. And it's, it's like Devastator, right? Like, you're not... Yeah. You're not just buying Devastators like crotch and like leaving it at that. Like you're you're buying you're buying if you're buying like Mix Master, and you're you're getting all of them. You know. Same with Predakin when they put that out. The yeah, yeah. yeah work great. Uh, they probably would sell better too if they were just in multi packs. You know, that's more incentive to to get it all at once. That you know by the end of the day. You can have your uh, your Menasaur, you know, not just a leg, and then wait a year or six months to to finish it. And then you know the 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 issue too I have is that let's say like you what let's say like for whatever reason you know you can't can't find one piece. Like let's say like oh cool I got like let's say you got all the pieces of Menasaur and. For whatever reason, like you can't find drag strip, it it sort of makes the other pieces feel pointless. Yep. Yeah, especially if you can't find the rest of the combiners. Well, that, that's that's what happened to me. I I couldn't find the main piece, uh, at least in store, and, and like a few other pieces to Menasaur. You know, so I'm happy they're they're putting out, but they should have put out a box set. From the beginning, you know, I don't really see much of a point in starting to put them out separately and then change your mind a, less than a year later and put out a box set. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't know. But I know there's always going to be people who say we don't like box. Even with Power Rangers, I think we talked about this like a week or two ago. We don't want box sets because we can't afford it all at once. So, see, I I under I understand I understand that argument. I understand that argument, but I think the I think it's just like you know, like listen, if you're if you're if you're catching like. When the Alien Rangers kind of kind of came up, it it wasn't just like a surprise drop, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's that's the thing is I I understand like a lot of people it's harder for them to maybe drop two hundred bucks or two hundred and fifty bucks in one shot. I I, t I totally I totally get that. Here's the thing: if you're catching a pre order, like let's say like you're pre ordering something in June doesn't come out until October. You know, like it's not most cases you're catching a pre order. You have time to save up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like that's the you know, so it's like I I get it, I get it, you know, like sometimes it's hard to drop in like bills in one shot, but you know save that's your so money. Awesome, though, you know? Yeah, like that's what it is, man. Like I don't know, just save your money. Just just bank a little money each week and then there you go. A again with with Power Rangers, I kind of see it both sides cuz again, I I I feel like see that see that point of view where like if you're just kind of trying to collect like Red Rangers, 
would suck that you had to buy a whole box set just to get that one Red Ranger, you know? Yeah. What's what's the what's the percentage of people that are collecting just one color of Ranger versus people that are just trying to do teams? So it's kind of like I I I get it. It sucks from that point of view, but you know I I also like for me it was better because it was like hey we just got to complete that one team, just one box set. Uh, you know, like I said, it's just the same thing with Menasaur. You know, like it's just. For for me, it sucked because I I had Motor Master and I had to wait, I had to wait, and slowly kind of build them, you know. Like I got Drag Strip first, and then I put Drag Strip on, and then okay, we're just kind of slowly waiting till I could get the next piece. And then once I, you finish it, it's just underwhelming. Yeah, it is exactly. Yeah, it is. I think just uh, I don't know, man. I think just. Combiners should just always, always just be a box set. Stop it with these single releases. Couldn't agree more. Like just, especially like if it's a lesser like known like like in the case of like Marvel Legends, lesser known teams, just put out a box set. Yeah. yeah. Like that. Like that would be like that would be a great way for them to like knock out like the Eternals, you know? Yeah, you you're right. You're or, right about that. Or even like the Inhumans, like even the even the royal family, like just could just put like uh, Trident, Crystal, Gorgon, maybe uh, what's the like Max Maximus or whatever. Like, there you go, just. Put them in. Put them. Put them in a, a box set. Like look how long it's taking us to complete the new warriors. You know, look how hmm. long it's taken us to complete X X Factor or X Force. You dealing with the X Factor? <laughs> I would say freaking. Like, yeah, any, any team, like, say, like, okay, like, right now, they look like they're doing classic Guardians, because you got the one dude coming out, and you already came out with a classic Yondu, so it would be like, the rest of the crew, just put that shit in the box set, and call it a day. Yeah. No sit there and scatter them out, nobody knows who they are, so put them in a box set, call it the Guardians of the Galaxy, and then, and, and, and move on. They could have done the same for the movie versions, too. Yeah. I mean, they already all have the same costumes. Just put them all in one singular box set. Yeah, you know? absolutely. They're, they're so similar. Like, it's so underwhelming to just buy them se you know, separately. So just put them in a box set, Classic Guardians, MCU, and do whatever you want with the Build-A-Figure. Sell it separately. Or I don't even know what the Build-A-Figure was for that wave, but... I don't know. Let's go, baby. Saw 10. <laughs> kind of popped out of nowhere, that, that trailer. I didn't expect them to do more. Well, I mean, we're almost at that time. We can jump into trailers now. So. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do the trailers, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about the movie real quick. Yeah. Right. This uh, parking lot brawl pretty violent. Yeah. Alright, well we got trailers for you here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. First trailer on tap. Uh Saw Ten. Like I don't know how we Yeah, are. baby. How we how we at ten already. <laughs> I I think I d I don't know if this is counting uh I don't think this is counting like Saw 3D 
Well, I think it's technically like Saw 11, if I'm not mistaken. Fucking A. Or no, not Saw 3D, uh, Jigsaw, Jigsaw. Because it was a movie that was just kind of like, was just called Jigsaw. That's cool. I don't care. I don't care. I love Saw. I'm, I'm with it. We're gonna take a quick look at the Saw 10 here. Because uh, cause why the heck not, right? Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. Since, uh, Let's jump into it. It's saw time. Saw time. I'm the cheat. You picked John Kramer. The cancer is still spreading. I'm afraid there's nothing else we can do. There is one person who might be able to help. Our program is a two-pronged treatment. Outside Mexico City, the results have been stunning. That's funny. Uh... She saved my life. That, like, he died in, like, Saw 3. You're in very good hands with us. He just keeps coming back. After that, what happens? Between Saw 1 and 2, right? Life, keeps coming back. Um, According to yeah, these scans, one and two. the tumor yeah. was never removed. How much time do I have? Months, at best. I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. Tended to cure me, but what I have planned for each of you is very real. Please came upon me. No light, no sound. The only thing I have not provided is your anesthetic. But trust me, you will want to remain alert. You pick John Kramer? Please, don't hesitate. Place a big enough piece of your cerebral tissue into the glass enzyme tank. This will save your life. So sweet. That's it. Oh, let's go, This is not retribution. It's a reawakening. The choice is yours. <laughs> so she's coming back too, huh? I so, so see, I think, I think actually, I think this actually takes place between two and three. Oh, okay. Think, I think this takes place between two and three. I'm a little confused by the plot. So he's going after the surgeons and nurses who were supposed to take out his brain tumor but didn't. Yeah. But why wouldn't they? Yeah, I don't know. I, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but maybe it'll be explained in the movie. I wonder if it's going to end up being like a thing where it's like, oh, we... Why are they working so hard to keep this killer alive? That's the real question. <laughs> like, we, we, we thought we removed it, but we uh, we didn't. Well, they don't they don't know he's Jigsaw by this point. Well, fuck him anyway. He looks creepy. Put him out of his misery. <laughs> I think one of the detectives or one of the characters from Saw Three is in this too. I don't know. I recognize the face, plus the girl. But yeah, yeah. I'm I'm excited. I I, I fucking love this franchise. So 
Yeah, me too. Uh, me too. So uh, I, I don't I don't care if people say like uh, like let, there's been too many saws already or like oh uh, how could they keep doing no like let's go I'm ready I'm I'm ready for more saw. You no know, spiral was like decent, but it just wasn't the same, man. Yeah, I think this one looks good. I think it, uh... Listen, there, there's never been an unwatchable Saw movie, so... Yeah, agreed, agreed. I think there's definitely some that are, like, I like better than others. But yeah, uh, they're... You're, you're but... definitely right about that. I mean, the first one's still the best, but... Yeah, yeah, for sure. Why'd you join that hey, Sue's hey. van? Damn, they destroying Sue's van, son. R.I.P. I've always been kind of impressed by all the twists and turns in all of the Saw sequels on how it all yeah. meshes together in a single timeline. Yeah. It's always clever. Like, they're not just shitting out sequels, you know? Exactly, yeah. That's where I'm kind of, like, excited to see this one. How it kind of... Uh, kind of fits in with everything else. Y'all have fun with that. I ain't watching that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but we can move on to the next trailer, and that is trailer for Loki season two. I guarantee. I guarantee you're gonna like season two. Hopefully this one's not too loud. The last one was super loud. Kobe? Hello? We have a little bit of a situation we wanted to run by you. Kobe? Wow! Great to see you again! <laughs> that, that's what's been happening. Wow. Time slipping. Wait, time, you know that? Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. Can you fix that? No. <laughs> it's impossible to time slip in the TVA. I know, but we just saw it happen. Yeah. I've been pulled through time between the past and the present. Hello? If what I saw is true, there's nothing to stand between this world and utter destruction. Only one way to find out. A little good old-fashioned legwork. Listen, we have different styles. You're a man of action, which is fine. I take a more slow, deliberate, cerebral approach. It's really goodbye. It's up to us to save this place. Is this cracked? Yes, babe. Whatever we do, we're playing God. We are gods. But how do you choose who lives and who dies? Make the hard choice. Spot on. So, we all know that 
I all know that Loki season one had the most uh, impact on the current phase. I'm guessing that this is going to be the next big implication, right? That's going to lead into the next, into the real Kane the Conqueror shit. I would or, think so. I would hope, because everything since Loki has been, uh, where the fuck is this going, you know? Yeah, yeah. I hope this is not going to be that. But it looks good. It looks fun. Oh, shit. I mean, it looks interesting. No, it just looks like... It just looks like more of what we got in the first season, you know? And I mean that in a good way. Yeah. Like, the... The first season was, like, a fun like adventure through... Adventure through time, and... Then it kind of explored the multiverse. It, it kind of looks like this one is just going to be more of the same, you know? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, hopefully, like, Phase 4 has been sort of very kind of... Very confusing. Hopefully, this will kind of... Maybe kind of tie everything together a little bit. The picture of Kang behind the photo of the Time Lord. <clears throat> supposedly uh yeah, I, didn't I, read, know that. I read that uh i don't think it's much of a spoiler but apparently this season is going to explain what happened exactly to kane the conqueror from quantum mania and possibly bring him back i don't know mm. so i don't know how, how many years away are we from the next avengers Because that's a lot of filler. <laughs> oh, we gotta it, do. It, it's it's, it's kind of hard to say now, right? Because uh, I think before the, the next Avengers movie was supposed to come out in like uh, 2025, was it? A lot of filler. But again, like now Hollywood's kind of on hold, you know. Yeah. So I would, I would, I would expect, I would suspect any date that they announce, I, I would. Push it back at least a year at this point. Again, man, it's like tough. There's hopefully, hopefully, I live long enough to see this next Avengers movie. That's all I can say. <laughs> but like, what's after Loki season two and before Avengers? I mean, what what do we got left? Oh. Kind of, yeah. Look it up right now. Give me, uh, give me a second. I think Blade got delayed, right? Um, Blade, Blade, I don't. Blade, I honestly don't think it's it's delayed. I think it's like shelved. Oh wow! Okay. We'll see what happens. Uh, maybe, ho hopefully, it all makes sense in the end. Hopefully, right? Uh, all right. But now we could uh, talk about uh, the TMNT, the Ninja Turtles, Mayhem. There will be brief spoiler. I guess some spoiler. Uh, it's not a whole lot. I don't know if there's, if, if there's anything to really spoil in this movie. Because, like, I don't know how I feel about this movie. Like, I don't. For, first off, like, you know what? I don't even hate it. I don't even think. Can I kick it? Oh, uh, fucking shit is loud. God damn it, it's loud. But, uh, like, honestly and truthfully, like, I, I watched it, and I didn't hate it. I, if I had any real critique to the show, to the movie, is I think some of the voices for the Turtles could have been on other, on other Turtles. But I said that during the trailer. 
And, and I still, yep. and I still stand to, I still stand true to that statement that like Mikey and Donnie should have been switched. Yeah. But other than that, okay, you know, band aid right off. This is not even closely, remotely related to the turtles that you know, origin wise. Just throw that all out the window. Yeah, this is like a this is like a new, you know, like much like uh, we were talking about with Transformers, you know, like Turtles is a multiverse. This is a brand new universe. Like the only thing remotely kind of close to somebody within that universe as a villain, at least, was Baxter Stockman. But you know, again, spoiler alert: he he kind of like dies right at the beginning, so he's not even yeah, he, he's not even a factor. He, yeah, he dies very early on. Which uh, definitely kind of caught me by surprise. Yeah, a little bit, and then like the whole situation, it it's 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 almost like okay, the overall bad guy is of course Superfly, but then you got the TCRI people as well, kind of bad guys, but they're not that prominent within the movie. Like they show up periodically. But they're not the overall arc and bad guys. And yeah, like they're there, and there's conflict. But Superfly is the central antagonist for this movie. I feel like like the animation itself is fine. I I did have a little issue with with like okay non non character non main characters get like the really kind of shittier of that animation. I felt. Yeah, like, to me, like, to me, it was kind of very, it was kind of very, like, Spider-Verse-esque, where, like, uh, like, certain characters looked, like, really, like, visible and really well animated, and then other characters were, just seemed, like, very crudely. No, nah, they're, no, nah, they're, they're not aliens, they're still, like, like, part, the, like, part of the origin is still there of, they get exposed to ooze. And they, you know, they grow up to be fucking Ninja Turtles. The only thing that is, like, not within that canon of, you know, turtle lore is, you know, Splinter's not a Rokusaki, and he didn't know martial arts, he didn't battle with Hamato Yoshi. Oh, no, I got, I got, I think I got it backwards, but you know what I mean. But, like, none of that's involved no martial arts, no no shredder, no foot clan. You just have Splinter. I don't even think he's named Splinter cuz they never really said Splinter. They never called him inherently called him Splinter, no. They just called they just kept calling him dad. Yeah. But I agree. It, it, I agree with that. But it's like okay, so they take parts of it and, and like I said, they kind of fold that in. Like so, they're still regular animals. They're still just turtles. And then at some point, you know, Splinter or Dad decides to teach him martial arts because he thinks the outside world is dangerous. And then it's kind of like this ongoing joke. I won't spoil that for you. Let's 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 try to keep that one. I think that's a little funny because I did find that slightly humorous that the the ongoing joke actually was a thing. So it's like okay. <laughs> I appreciated that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I really like this movie, man. I think this is probably the best uh, version of the Turtles I've been in any movie, I would say. See, I would, I, I, would, I would say it was good. I wouldn't say it's the best, like, different adaptation. Like, you know, outside of leaving out all the the real Splinter, Shredder stuff. Like, I feel the I feel part of the movie kind of rushed itself real quick because we get to a point where, you know, Superbad's kind of fucking up the city. And it's like, and, me, and, it, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it's kind of like how Secret Invasion kind of did. Like, it immediately went to the extreme of, like, these fucking monsters and they're attacking, and, and we need to, you know, protect ourselves. And then if it wasn't for, like, April stepping in and letting them know, like, nah, that's not what it is. But it's like, it it 
it it really quickly just kind of went right there. Yeah, like see, it like it, it sped it up too quick. Like it just went se. fast. I don't think this is the best movie per se. I think these turtles are are the best. Like the way the turtles interacted with each other. I don't nice. know. There was one point where there was they were doing something, and I'm like, okay, are we gonna end? It? Are we gonna stop now? Because like, there, there was one part where the four turtles were kind of doing the brothers thing with April, and it was when they was all doing the huddle, and they were like, yeah, I'm cool, we cool, and and it just kind of went on for just a little bit too long. Yeah, like, like the first, like if you watch like the original turtles movie. Again, I, I love that movie, but if you kind of go back and watch it, like all the turtles just kind of had the same personality. Like this, this one, I I like that they their, their personalities were different enough, but they were all still like I said. Like I think this is supposed to be like this is a younger version of. The, I think this is supposed to be a younger version of the turtles than what they're seeing. Like usually when I see the turtles. I feel like they're maybe like 16, 17. Here, I, I feel like they're like 14. Uh, I think though, like, again, I like the Turtles. I like this movie. I think I had two big problems with it. I, I think the first one was uh, this, this movie had a lot of characters. And in in this case, I, I don't think it handled that perfectly well i'm glad you bring it because i was gonna ask what did you think of the other mutants because like as like yeah some of them were barely in it and some were like okay it's cool they they got their little you know line out or whatever but i, I don't think they were yeah. like they were there just to kind of be there it, it it felt like it felt like they were mm -hmm. like let's let's make a movie and let's just cram it full of mutants and Although it was cool for me to kind of see, like, oh, there's Genghis Frog. Oh, there's there's Ray Filet. Ray Filet. Oh, there's... I like that. Ray Filet. Yeah, like... <laughs> Ray Filet. Yeah. Like, oh, there's like Leatherhead. It was cool. Like, it was cool seeing all those characters. And and maybe this is some. Maybe it's like, I get it that this is just supposed to be an introduction to this world, and I think that we're supposed to get more. I think we're supposed to get like spin-off series and yeah, I read about that. Yeah, there's we're supposed to get like spin-off series where it's going to focus on the different mutants and it's going to flush them out more. So so maybe like maybe in 5 years when some of these sequels and these like spin-off series come out, maybe I'll be able to appreciate it more, but it's just like Leatherhead was there and it was cool, but not enough. I not mean, enough like, like certain characters had a little more speaking roles, but like again, I don't think like, like they didn't do much. Like I you know Rocksteady and Bebop were cool. Wingnut was cool. Letterhead was cool. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah, was, it, was, it was okay. Mondo Gecko was all right. Like everybody was okay. Like I like I, 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 if I sit here and go, I don't know how I feel about this because it's like I don't hate this movie. Me neither. But I, but I, I don't love it. But I'm like, yeah, it was cool. There were some funny moments. Like, you know, like I said, once they kind of established, like, we're not doing traditional turtle lore, I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Like, it doesn't even bother me that there is no foot, there's no shredder, and, and, and the whole situation with Stockman and all that. I'm like, you know, it's fine. But I just wish, I feel like something got cut out and then other things got rushed. Because like I said, we don't get much of the TCRI people, like, they kind of speed up, speed run, like, at the end, like, what their mission statement is of, like, yeah, we want the ooze so we can make, you know, you know, anthropomorphic soldiers, you know, bird men, dolphin men, you know, shit like that, whatever. But it's like, for most of the part, you don't really see them throughout the movie, so it's like, they're, they're not really that big of a deal. And then on top of that, they kind of get dealt with pretty fucking easily. Yeah, I think uh, I think this is I think this is one of those movies where I think maybe like this, this movie was like a hard ninety minutes. And I, I I can't help but uh, I can't help but feel like maybe this movie would have been 
better served if it was like if if this movie was like a half an hour longer and that half hour was just to give more time to Bebop and Rocksteady to give more time to Leatherhead and more time to Wingnut and just like an extra half hour to just give some of these characters a little more time I, I would have I think that would have been great also I I, th I think they flipped uh they flipped sides too quickly like it, like like super Superfly tells a story of how like he raised them and he took care of them and they're like his brothers and sisters and then it was just they all like instantly turned on him well, I mean, when he, like, the whole plan, and they were just kind of like, you know, we really didn't want to kill people. We just kind of going along, whatever, but. It's just, I, I, I like, wish the overall, the overall, uh, the overall arc of this was like, it was about acceptance. Everybody it's, wanted to be accepted. Yeah. It's just that I feel like that needed more emotional magnitude, where it's like, you just kind of have the turtles being like, Hey, you know, like we shouldn't kill people, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, fuck, fuck you, brother, that raised us and took care of us. Go fuck yourself." Yeah, that, that's why. But I, 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 that's why I said I feel like stuff was cut out because we get the scene yeah. where they're all hanging out and they're bowling and kind of bonding. But then, like, I feel like there's something in that scene that was probably cut out where they kind of established, like, yeah, maybe his idea is not the best idea. Yes, yeah, like, that's what I mean. Like, we needed more time to that, where maybe there should have been a scene where the some of the mutants are talking and some of the mutants are kind of like, hey, man, you know, like, are we sure we want to do this? Like, I'm not really feeling right with this plan. So at least that way you kind of plant the seeds so that way when they make the inevitable turn later on, you're kind of, you kind of understand that, oh, okay, they were all, they were already kind of, were already kind of thinking about it. So that, that makes more sense because they were already talking about it and they are already thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, but like I said, I feel, I feel like things got cut out of something because it's definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's definitely something that look, would seem to be something that would have been in the middle between the bowling scene and then the part where we get to the laser and everybody's just sitting there having a conversation. It's like, in between, there should have been somewhere where the, the other mutants are kind of second-guessing, like, uh, like like you said, are we doing the right thing here? Is this okay? You know, we just met some more mutants like us, so it's not like we were completely alone. There are others like us. Yeah. So, you know, you start to get that more clarity of, like, maybe, maybe I'm looking at it wrong here. Cause like even Sp Splinter towards the end kind of realizes like yo damn I kind of was coming at it a little too hard. Yeah. You know, but like I said, we don't get that middle piece that like I said, I feel like certain things got cut out. I feel like certain things got sped up. But like I said, if I had to give this out of a five, I'd give it a three out of five. It's it's not terrible. I don't hate it. I don't love it. But I, pre I I enjoyed it for being a turtle movie. Like I said, it was cute. The, the, the moments that were funny made me laugh. And, and, and like I said, it, the visuals wasn't that hot about it. But it is what it is. You know, okay. April April wasn't too abrasive. She 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 did what she had to do. They they didn't make her like a super duper girl boss or anything. You know, she she was definitely like a flawed individual. So, like, okay, I appreciate that as well. So, for anybody who is like, uh, whatever, April's gonna just come in and be a girl boss. Now, that's not even the case. It's, yeah, no. Um, I, I don't, like, I feel like this movie, this movie just has done something that hasn't been done in a while in a lot of movies. There was no message, it was just yeah. there to, it, it was just there to yeah. entertain yeah. you. It was just there to entertain yeah. you. There was no message. There was no boys can do it, but boys ain't good, girls do it better type thing, or, or exactly. men are just dumb type thing. None of, none of that agenda stuff. It was, the, at best, if it had any agenda, the, the agenda was accepting people who are different. That's it. Exactly. That's I, it. I also, I also like that uh, April played her role perfectly. Like, I like that. And just to build off what you were saying, like at, at no point, at no point did uh, April ever talk down to the turtles. At no point did the movie ever kind of 
make the turtles seem like it, like it, it didn't make the turtles seem um so that they could make April seem like okay April's way smarter than the turtles like she didn't go in there and save the turtles she had to go get yeah. help you know exactly. what I'm saying she didn't just go in yeah. there and like I'm a, I'm a fight now and, and, and kick ass no exactly she yeah. she, she knew she she knew she wasn't mad she had no win so she went and got the rat uh, post credit scene I thought was good. I thought that it kind of you know gives us an interesting direction of maybe where we're where we're uh, heading. What was the post credit scene? Uh, so it's uh, Cynthia Utron. She's talking to like Eye Patch guy, and they're talking about the turtles. And he's like, uh, "We need to." We, he's, I, f- I forget exactly the dialogue, but he says we need to send. We need to send like a better like a better agent and then she's like don't worry like i'm already on it like i've already been talking with someone that's gonna take care of our turtle problem and then you kind of see uh in in a separate location kind of on a building you, you see shredder mm. so what are they trying to are they, are they trying to do kind of more of the mirage style of turtles here Yeah, maybe a maybe a little bit. It seems like they're it seems like they're uh maybe borrowing uh a little bit from Mirage a little bit from like the two thousand three series. Like it seems like they're kinda of drawing a little bit from everywhere. Yeah, but I would say yeah, out of a five, I'd give it a three. It was it was it was fine. Like I didn't like I said, it was good. It was good for a a couple hours, you know, it's good for an hour and a half or so. Uh Jimmy, do you wanna kinda do you wanna kinda add anything? Uh I've never been a big turtle guy. Um like I don't think it's the best animated turtle thing I've seen. I still like the uh the two thousand what is it, two thousand seven, right? What T M N T? Yeah, TMNT. I still like that one a bit more, but it's nice to see something different. Like, I went into this movie knowing I'm probably not going to like the animation, and I didn't. Like, I'm not a fan of the stop motion stuff. Like, was it me, or is it, like, all the other people, like, some people would just have, like, sideways faces? Yeah. And stuff, and I was just like, yeah, I don't care for this kind of, like, avant-garde style of animation. Like, it's see, like, like eh. that's what I mean. It, it, it felt very, it felt very like Spider-Verse where some people are better animated than others. When you have them together, it just looks very jarring. Like in, uh, like Spider-Verse, like, uh, Spider-Punk, you know, like he was so crudely animated. It was just kind of, it was just kind of almost like unpleasant to look at. Yeah, but... Like for the for the for the for the most part. Plus like I like how their like martial arts really wasn't that polished and or refined based off of like, you know, Splinter wasn't the Splinter we know. Like there's no he had no martial arts background. Yeah. Like he learned whatever from, from T V or whatever, some tapes of shit. So like it's it's a very the style was kind of very crude. In a way, so it was just like you know, it 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 was it was fine. Like it 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 served its purpose. So again, again, I I would say it's one of those movies that if I had the opportunity to watch it again, I'd probably check it out again. Yeah, same. I like the I like the TMNT. I like I like that movie a lot too. You know, I. Uh... I like there were some nods to older turtle stuff, like when they was fighting in the garage and Mikey was in the car and they started playing ninja rap. Like, if if it's one of those things where I'm like, I, I want to watch a turtles movie, you know, I I always kind of go to TMNT or I always kind of go to the first one. I I would probably put this one more more up there with those ones, you know, where. Yeah, like secret secret of the ooze, I'm I'm not a fan of. Uh, the third one, I'm not a fan of. And the the Michael Bay ones, I could kind of take them or leave them. Yeah, like this is 
this is one I would I, I would go back and watch this one way before like I would go back and watch either of the Michael Bay ones, you know what I mean? Easily. Easily. And and that's another thing with the turtles. Like I didn't dislike any of them. Like Raph still felt like Raph, where okay, like he's the angry one, but he wasn't obnoxious about it. Like yeah. he wasn't he wasn't overly obnoxious. Like like I like the part where like like you know, where they're like about to fight the guys and he's like uh he's like, Oh like man, Raph, like you got problem you got it, you got rage problems and he's just kinda like, No, it's not a problem. Like the like like Mikey, you could tell that he was the funny one. But he wasn't stupid. Like he wasn't stupid or he wasn't like uh he didn't talk like a stoner. Yeah. You know, yeah, like same thing. Donnie Donnie was clearly the nerd, but he wasn't at that point where he's like, I'm building he wasn't the tech yeah. guy yet. He's just I'm just a nerd. Exactly. But I'm not the tech guy as of yet. But like, like but he, like I like he kept referencing like Attack on Titan. Because you could tell that he, he yeah, like he's kinda that that nerdy, like comic, like comic book, like anime fan, you know? Yeah, and then Leo's kind of the, the self conscious supposed leader, but he he's he, he's he's definitely sitting there still trying to trying to figure it out. Mm. That's what I think is so great. Like they all still had their defining personality traits, but none of them were like over the top, or none of them were like obnoxious. Like again, going back to the Michael Bay ones, like Raph is so obnoxious that he's almost unbearable in that movie. You know what I found funny and kind of a good kind of touch to kind of separate it from other Turtle movies is that they kind of set this in almost like the real world. And by yeah. that I mean when like, okay, Splinter's throwing the party, he's pulling out cardboard cutouts of Chris Pine and and, and, and and, and, yeah. and all that and he's like like these are real people these are real actors like you know they're talking about real musicians in the world that are real people in our world so like they're not technically in a fictional place they're technically in the real world by movie that standpoints was, at least where yeah. like he had he's like who is who's Chris Pine and, and Chris Evans and shit and fucking yeah. So like yeah, like I found that funny. That was humorous, but it was also just like okay, it's semi set within the real, like the confines of the real world, where they acknowledge that these people are actors who do movies. Like they kept talking about Mark Ruffalo and shit like that. You know what I mean? So like I said, it's yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of set in its own real world where they acknowledge that these dudes are actors and they make these movies. Like, yeah, I'm pretty I sure, so. like, I don't know if they referenced, but like, I'm pretty sure if they could, they'd have probably said something about the Avengers, but it's kind of, that's what they're doing, because you're sitting yeah. there with Chris Evans, and, and they keep talking about Mark Ruffalo. Why are you talking about Mark Ruffalo so much? Because he's the Hulk, right? You know, so it's like, yeah, and, he's the, and they said they're talking about how, well, actually, no, they did talk about the Hulk, and this shit, like, he's got range, so yeah, they've acknowledged that they've watched the Avengers. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, and I, like I said, those that little nice little touch detail is like okay, I see what you did there. Like I said, you put you, you put them in a place. That's what I said. You can separate these turtles from all the other turtles because all the other turtles don't outside of the bay ones, I guess maybe. But they li technically these turtles live within the real world. Yeah. Like they see the movie. They they're watching. They're sitting there watching Ferris Bueller. Yeah, yeah, they they talk about Ferris Bueller. Yeah, they were watching Ferris Bueller. Yeah, so like I said, yeah. they they technically live in the real world. Yeah, I guess uh, I, I guess I'll just w one last point for me. I'll make just to kind of touch on. Uh, I thought the voice cast was great. Like uh, Jackie Chan, kind of really stole the show in this movie. He did though. He did. I I'll he give him really. That. Like I was kind of iffy on, like, how how he was gonna be, but I I think he stole the show. Uh, I thought the voice cast was good. Like Ice Cube was really good. 
uh, I thought like even again like even like John Cena was good as Rocksteady, but again it's a thing of where like we didn't get enough of him. The other thing I was I was trying to listen for the other actors, and I'm like barely could hear any of them because a lot of them didn't get that many, not that many lines. Yeah. Like at best, the most people out of the other mutants that really did the talking was Mondo Gecko. Voiced by Paul Rudd. Uh, Wingnut got a lot of a lot of a lot of screen time in, 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 in verses, and then probably Leatherhead. Everybody else had a bit of lines here, but not that much. In, and then like Filet Ray would just kept singing his name. Yeah, it it felt like uh, again, like they cast Post Malone as Ray Filet. So it felt very much like let's make him let's make him a singer. We're casting a singer, Lee's gotta sing. But it's like as far as like Rocksteady and Bebop, they they literally kinda got lines during their scene and that's really kind of it. Like they were kinda quiet most of the other times. They might say a word here and there, but the it wasn't like it, it wasn't like the mutants had time to really get dialogue. Oh. And that's what that's what I mean. Like I think the 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 biggest travesty of this movie is that I I just wish we would have had more time with all these other characters. Like I would have loved to see more Leatherhead. I would have loved to have gotten like a little more of Ray Filet, like Angus Frog. You know, like it was great that they had like Wingnut. Like they had all of these characters, but then man, I just I I wanted more. Like when this when this movie was over, I was like. Damn, I want more Bebop and Rocksteady. Like, I want more. Like, you know, like, I, I wouldn't. I would like to see. Uh, they should just spin this off and just do like a, like a separate Mighty Mutanimals movie, you know, and just bring back some of these characters. I like the part where Mikey finds uh, Mondo's tail and he's like, "Oh, it's tail." He's like, "It's okay. It goes yeah. back." <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah. What a what a what a what a fun. What just a great fun movie. Like I said, it's not a bad movie. Like I said, it's not a bad movie. I'm, I'm, I just I just I can't I just can't say it's the greatest because like I said, there's a lot of parts in it that I feel are like something's missing. Oh, yeah. But but it's enjoyable. Like I said, I, I I laughed at the scenes that were supposed to be funny, and, and like I said, I enjoyed the story itself. Like I said, they. They took the turtles and took them in a different direction. It's some of the lore, but none of the lore. And just giving it a little bit of spin. And like I said, the movie doesn't talk down to anybody. It's not trying to give out a message. And like I said, if the message is anything, it's just acceptance of people who are different. That's it. Yep. And, but other than that, it's it's a good film. Three out of five. It's average. I'm going to give it a four out of five because... Uh... I, I really, I really did have a lot of fun with this one. What say you, Jimmy? Uh, what say Candy Corn Jimmy about this subpar Turtles movie? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'll go three. I, I didn't, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I, I don't think it did. Uh, I think there was a little bit too much hype surrounding it of how it's going to be, you know, a groundbreaking turtle movie. I, I'll say I this. Thought, oh, sorry, it, it was an. It, Egg filled turtle movie. Yeah, there was plenty of Easter eggs, and and, and and it didn't do disrespect to the lore. It didn't do disrespect to turtles. Like I said, it just gave you a, a different interpretation, slight variation. Like like I said, the origins there, but there's certain key elements just not in play right now. But other things are established that okay, all these other characters are here, and they're not the traditional bad guys that you would remember them to be in other uh, medium of turtles. So it's a little different. But again, it's like, you know, let it go. Don't don't think too much about it. Just just enjoy it for what it is. And it's like, hey man, it's it's fine. I like I said, I, I I didn't sit there and go, man, this this was fucking tragedy right here. Like it's a disrespect. And like I said, I'm a turtles fan, so I'm 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 already coming in with a certain bias, but like I said, yeah. once once they already established how they were doing this and the direction they were going with it, I, I really wasn't like 
I wasn't sitting there like, why is there no shredder? Why is there no foot clan? I wasn't I wasn't sitting there doing none of that. I was just sitting there like, okay, I see what's going on. And, and like I see the elements that are still in play. Like I said, just a certain things are not in play right now. Yeah. Like I said, you have you had Baxter Stockman in play and he was working for T C R I, which is a, like like I said, all that's all that's turtle law right there. So that's all there. The only and, thing you know, I, that's not there is Foot Clan and Shredder. That's it. I could kind of, I could kind of see a scenario where Baxter Stockman comes back too, because even like remember in the 2003 series, like he kept, he kept losing like body parts, and then by the end of the series, he was just a brain in a jar. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Like for like for a little while, like okay, first he had a robotic hand. And then, like, his whole arm was robotic, and then he had a robotic leg, and then at one point he has a he had a robot body. And then after that, he had, like, just, he was just a head. He was just a head on, like, a little robotic, like, scooter. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of bring him back and do something like that, where find out that uh, Cynthia Utram, you know, like, she, she kind of, she's kind of had his, his, his head in a tube or something. Or whatever like you know like she's had him like she's been preserving him like all this time like she's been keeping him alive maybe I don't know I don't know I mean either or, like I said I, I, I'd I recommend if, you, if you're in the turtles go check it out you know see yeah if... yeah like if I think if you're a like if you're a turtles fan I, I think you're going to enjoy this this movie I think uh, there's a lot to be had, and you know, it's, it's a fun time. This is a fun. It's just a fun movie that doesn't kind of push any agendas. You know. no. Like I said, it's it, it's there to give you what you know. Ninja Turtles, a little bit. Like I said, a little bit different than the, than the norm, but you know, you should be kind of used to that by now. When it comes to turtles, that everybody tries to find a way to reinvent the wheels when it comes to TMNT. You know, it's like I said. It's, at this point, it's expected. Anyone thinking that they're going to get turtles from the the eighty late eighties cartoon or the nineties movies, like no, you're never going to get that again. You're going to get some of that, but you're always going to get something a little bit different or a slight variant from the original. Same way those cartoons varied from the the original comics. So it's 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 always gonna be variant. That's what that's what makes the turtle multiverse so interesting because the the it's they're never one to no no turtle universe has ever really been one to one. Yeah, there's always a slight variant on on something, whether it be the turtles themselves, who who the main villain in that world is, how April O'Neil relates to them, and all that. Like I said, not every universe. She's a reporter. Like I said, if you go back to just, what, 2012, she was just a kid. You know what I mean? You go to the Michael Bay movie, she, she's this, she's that. She's all these other things. Yeah, she's always trying to be a reporter somewhere, but, like, you know, different worlds, she starts somewhere else, doing something else. Same thing with, like, Casey Jones or whoever the fuck. Like I said, one moment Shred is a real dude, in another world he's an alien. You know, so, yeah, you take it for what it is. It's turtles. Don't ask questions. You got a bunch of turtles running around doing martial arts. If that's, if you, if you ask your questions, if that's the least of your problems, man, come on. But I think we're at that time. We're going to wrap it up here, ladies and gentlemen. want to thank everybody for joining us here tonight. You guys have been awesome. Taking a little bit of time out of your Friday night. Come hang out with us. And anybody watching this in the future, big ups to you as well for enjoying enjoying the show. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. We definitely appreciate hearing from you. And if you're not subscribed, why aren't you? Come on, it's free. It doesn't cost you nothing. You can tell a friend to tell a friend. You know, let's get us up to like 200 subscribers. Let's get to that benchmark and we can have a big celebration. We'll have a sexy episode for that. And join us tomorrow night, Clickbait Wrestling, our our sister channel, <laughs> nah, our, our our big brother, I don't even say sister channel, 
Clickbait Wrestling is the big brother channel to the sanctuary. We protect the sanctuary. We're the, yeah, san- uh, we're, we're the, the sister channel. We're the, we're the sanctuary sanctuary. Clickbait Wrestling. Home of the North American Thick Boys. We'll be uh, doing uh, Collision tomorrow and SummerSlam. So mm-hmm. you definitely want to be there for that. Should be a good show. So it's going to it's gonna be a lot of wrestling talking. All that stuff will pop in. So you're definitely going to want to be here tomorrow for Clickbait Wrestling. You know the place. You know the spot. So definitely join us for that. And with that, uh, we will call it a night. Y'all enjoy your evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you gentlemen want to say anything before we close out? You want to jizzle, gizzle, candy corn? I mean, put your candy corn in some jizzle and shoot it out your gizzle. You know how it is. That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good night. And remember to always kick out. Thick boys out.